they're only four days old. <laughs> they wanted to get up and, and headbutt. They were trying to play big goat. They can't figure it out yet. <laughs> oh, he, he tripped himself. He's like, darn. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that too. See what I can do. Hey y'all, welcome oh. back to the channel. I'm Mike. I'm Tanya. There she is. Uh, we're both out here with the goats. I just fed them and before I could even get everything hooked up on my phone, they're already finished. So mm -hmm. they eat through this grain so fast. It's unbelievable. Mm. It's their ice cream, y'all. It's kind of like the same way we eat ice cream so fast. But yeah, they are now cleaning up the mess on the ground. Which I'm kind of shocked they even do that. Usually they don't. But they're so hungry for protein. Just kind of letting you look at the babies. They're all doing really, really well. Tanya's got a mic on, so she should be able to talk and y'all should be able to hear her. This one right here is the only one that has runny butt, but he had it the moment he came out. So he got that diarrhea like within the first hour of being born. And I don't think he's had it since. So I think what we're seeing on there is just dried up. I mean, we could probably clean it. <laughs> yeah, we probably could. <laughs> we can't even, <laughs> he's like, no. Oh, they're all jumping already. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> they are all happy today, y'all. <laughs> so even though me and Tanya are in coats, the goats probably like this oh, weather yeah. compared to the last two days. The last two days have been very rainy and very, very cold. It's not really that cold, but it feels no, really it was, cold. It was cold enough. It was in the 30s. Yeah. So it was cold enough for us here in southern Oklahoma. We're it not felt really cold. It, I mean, we're used to, you know. Because before that, it was like. 79. Yeah, 80s, 70s and 80s, and our body's already getting used to it. So uh, anyway, it's very, very windy. Hopefully y'all don't hear much of the wind. Um, but today's temp is about 56, so we're still a little chilly, but the goats are loving it. They've been cooped up in that shed most of the day, past two days. I want to take you over there and show you what I've done. You gotta come see those babies. Yeah, let's go look okay. at the babies. They're look all kind of bunched up together. for the most part. So that one in the lead right there is, oh no, those are both boys, actually. Look at them. Yeah, they're, they're playing. Fighting just like boys. I was thinking one of them was a girl, but it's not. They're both being bucks. Yep, they are. They're so cute, Mike. Watch them. I know, they're adorable. <laughs> they're only four days old. <laughs> they wanted to get up and, and headbutt. They were trying to play big goat. They can't figure it out yet. Who's their daddy? So one of them belongs to Samoa, and the other one belongs to... Uh, uh, no, the other one belongs to... I'm trying to figure this out. Hold on. One Samoa... Oh, and the other one is uh, Beauty, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's Beauty's baby. So which one has Megatron and which one has Chip? I think they both have Chip. Okay. <laughs> I get to watching them and I forget to film, y'all. What are they doing? <laughs> oh, they're getting worn out. That they is go, so funny. They need to go eat. Oh, he, he tripped himself. He's like, darn. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that too. See what I can do. I can dance sideways. And then they leave. They're All like, right, they're okay, done. we're done. <laughs> so okay, we have six, uh, seven of them in here. <clears throat> so that's the boy I just showed you. That's Cinnamon's boy. Here's uh, Oreo's Look at triplets. Cookie and cream. Cookies and cream oh, right here, y'all. She's so cute. 
There's a little brown one too. That's pretty cute. Yep, that is Samoa's other baby. Boys. Yeah, that's Samoa's boy right there. Laying big. Down. He is big. He's pretty. These are Brendan's goats. And that's a boy too. He's pretty. Yeah, the white and brown one it's there like is the a boy. It's like the opposite of that one. The one up against the wall, the little baby is a girl. Okay, so I did want to show you all this. And I'll explain why I did this. So just to give you all a heads up, we have lost one little boy, goat. Uh, came out here yesterday morning and he was right here in this lean-to by himself. There was no other goats in here, but he was by himself and he had passed away, he was dead. Um, I'm almost certain it's because he got like maybe smothered or maybe possibly even trampled. That's the only thing I can come up with because he had no injuries, he didn't look bad at all, he looked healthy. He was one of our bigger goats, so he had no reason to be weak or anything like that. So I think maybe he got trampled and then maybe even suffocated, something like that, like too many goats in one area because the night before it got down to like 33 degrees. So they were all in here and plus it was raining. So they were all in here. He wasn't wet, so he wasn't one of the goats that got out in the water. He was dry, uh, and some of the other little babies were wet, so they fared fine in it. Um, but when it did rain, it was a it was a terrible storm. I mean, it was coming down hard, and it was unexpected because it wasn't on the radar uh, when I went to bed. And it, when it was cold, it was cold and sleeting. Yeah, it, it started sleeting a little bit. And those bit, were in so. two different days. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I came out the next morning and he had already passed away, um, but all the other goats were healthy. They looked great. They acted great. So I can't say it was certainly, you know, like a tramp, tramp getting trampled or smothering. It could have just been a defect in some way. I don't know. Uh, nothing to really go by. I did not take it to the vet to have any kind of test done or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to mark it up as a loss. Uh, and you have those. Typically, Goat ranchers or, or goat farmers, you know, they 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 bank on about a 10% loss. So they're going to lose 10% of their, their babies. Of course, you don't want that. When we lose 10%, it's a lot. Yeah, it seems like a lot, you know. We've had 18 goats. We've lost one. So it's not too bad. I just don't want to lose any more, obviously. Uh, and we have no more of that weather in the forecast. It's all, like, today's the coldest day, 56. Tomorrow's, like, 66. And then it's in the 70s for another 12 days but or we still 80s. have the rain to worry about so that's why you wanted yeah. to talk about the yeah. thing so i you. did do the rain because goats don't like rain so they go find cover and if this is their cover they're not going to stay under trees like what they would do in the wild so if this is what they're going to use for their cover if all the goats are going to stay in here the baby goats love getting in there now i've kind of had to teach them the past two days how to use this because when i first put them in there they cry honey wants me to turn around and see cookies I like cookies. It's like, no, I gotta pee. She's peeing. My brother's like, hey, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. There's Samoa and her two babies. Come here, Cookie. And she'll let you pick her up. So even when I'm telling a story, sometimes I'm gonna to have to turn and show you all the babies. Okay, so I had to teach them, like I was saying, I had to teach them how to use this. Like I had to put them in there, like actually put them in there. And they would get out right away because they'd hear their mom or their mom would be curious. But now they like it. Now at night, I can come out here and all the baby goats are in there. The past couple of nights, they've been inside the uh, doghouse, actually staying warm, several of them. So that's working out great. Uh, they can get in right through here underneath, or I've, I've left just enough gap here for them to get in. And none of the smaller goat, none of the bigger goats can get in through there. And you've secured it. So yeah, it I've fall. also secured it to the wall so it won't come away. It won't fall. I've done this in the past. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed it in a video though, but it works out great. Keeps the mamas away from them. So all the babies are protected in there. Just in case that was why. Yeah, just in case that, that's what it was. You know, I'm not 100% sure that that baby died from being trampled, but I, I have my suspicions. It didn't look injured, so I can't say it was. But I don't know. Um, I've had two goats, two baby goats die in here. Was it three years ago? Two years ago? Mm -hmm. I have found two babies in here, and they were Oreos babies. 
and she's like the dominant doe in here so no goat is going to attack her babies mm. you know but i have seen other does you know other mamas you know headbutt another baby to get it out of the way or try to grab it with its teeth you know i've seen that but those two babies i did find this is two years ago i think bite marks on them and i don't think it was any of the goats i think it was the pony remember when we had the pony in here oh yeah maybe i was thinking it was probably the pony that we had in here yeah um but again, I didn't see it. I didn't have any proof. And at the time, I, I hadn't put this up yet because actually, I think I had already taken this down, believe it or not, because most of the babies were already big enough uh, to not get trampled or anything. But those two babies, I actually saw injury. So I knew they were injured in some way. Ponies, I could see doing what donkeys would do. Yeah. yeah ponies are just like, they would do just, just what like, a donkey would away. do. They would, they would pick it up with the mouth and throw mm -hmm. it or whatever. Most babies are crawling on them. <laughs> Playing on her. Cute. It's amazing what these goats can do. Some of them are seven days old. Some of them are just three or four days old. <laughs> I think Samoas are, I think Samoa was the third goat to have babies. So hers would be six days old. Oreos are five days old. Trixies are four days old. Which is this one right here. These two babies here Hi, are uh, jumpers babies, and they're they're the oldest. They're seven days old. Coffee. This one. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Uh, beauties are three days old. Uh, the youngest is, believe it or not, Ginger's, and it's the biggest right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's because she was a single. She's so pretty. Too. Yeah, she's a pretty goat, y'all. She's got a really pretty coloring. And if y'all remember a couple of years ago, Ginger had issues with raising her baby and I had to reattach the baby. She's not having any issues this year. Hey y'all, I want to take a quick break on this video and talk to you about an Olight flashlight. You guys know I like Olight. I think they make a great flashlight. And they just came out with this Arcfield Pro, which is an everyday carry type flashlight. I like the slim design in it. It fits in the pocket really well. It's got the reversible clip on it or a two-way clip on it so it fits in the pocket well plus it fits on the hat it becomes a hat light anyway this is a great flashlight i've been getting a lot of use out of it i want to sh show you some video real quick outside last night where i went out and checked on the baby goats uh it's it's got a great light it comes with uv light uh green laser light and then of course your three to four different function light with just your regular white light so I'll put this on the screen as well so you can see it, but the flashlight under the moon setting, moonlight setting, is about one lumens, so pretty low, but that's fine for a, for a moonlight setting. The low is 15, the medium is 100 lumens, high is 420, and then the turbo is about a 1300 lumens, y'all. And the runtime for that is about, it says, 126 minutes. So a little over two hours at turbo. Uh, if you have the moonlight setting and that's all you use, it's 11 days runtime. That's pretty incredible on this battery. So the UV light comes in handy when you're looking for some pet stains or any kind of um, countertop stains. Like say you go to a hotel, pretty handy right here. So I'm not sure if y'all can see this, but just to show you, one function, that's the moonlight. If you just set and hold, it goes through the four stages. So moonlight again, low, medium, yeah, there you go. You can see them all right th run through there. It also has the SOS. There it is. Double click and it runs through that SOS function. Pretty bright light, y'all. You can get this flashlight on olight.com for around $79 to $99, depending on which version you pick up. Uh, you can also use the discount code FFF10 for a 10% discount. So make sure you go over there and check them out, y'all. And while we're out here, let's go ahead and go take a look at Kara and her baby. Look at Silas. Hi, Sai, Sai. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. Take a nap. I get to take a nap. <laughs> okay, Millie, here is Kara's baby. Millie, leave no. it alone. Millie. Leave it. So this is Kara's baby. She is beautiful. Who's her dad? Chip. Chip. Nope, Megatron. Sorry, Megatron. 
So the reason I, oh, look, look, here's mama. She's trying to find her. She's over here, Kara. Let's see what she does. Come on. Back up a little bit. She knew we were over here. Come she on. knows where her baby's at. She's trying to psych us out. Yeah, she's scared of us. Here, we'll back up. You come be a mama. You're looking for your baby. Good job. This is what I wanted to show y'all. Watch y'all. Oh, she's missed. She's letting her eat. So if y'all watched our live the other day, we talk about this, where Kara was just circling around the baby. She would not let the baby eat, and we had to hold Kara. That's good. Even though that was only a few seconds, that's good. She's allowing it. Now she's allowing it again. Huge improvement. Good job, girl. But yeah, like, like if y'all watched our live the other day, we had to hold her and force her to, to let the baby eat. And then when we let her go, she wouldn't let the baby eat. She would be around the baby. She wanted to be there for the baby, but she wouldn't let the baby eat. So this is great. This is great to see. Do we need to feed her more? Who? Kara. Jen? Oh, Kara? Is um, she maybe not getting... She looks pretty skinny and her baby looks pretty skinny. Well, the baby's not, I'll explain that. I'm gonna keep talking. I'm not, you, I think you'll understand why. If you go up on Kara right now and grab her and you're, you get to fill her bag, it's very small. Mm -hmm. She has a very, very small milk bag. Like when you look at it, it's like, did any milk drop? But I can get milk to come out. So when I milk her, plenty of milk comes out. So that baby's getting milk. She's just not gonna get as much milk as like these two babies and Samoa's producing. And I'll try to get a close up on her either today or tomorrow. One part of this video, I'll try to grab her so y'all can see her, her bag. It's just tiny. So is there ever a point where we have to supplement? I don't think so. As long as we think that the baby's doing good. As long as the baby has energy, the baby's moving around and playing and stuff like that. This is the youngest baby, her and Ginger. So this baby's small, so she's gonna be weak. She's gonna be not as agile and coordinated as these other babies right now. But if we don't see much improvement in the next two to three days, then yeah, we'll start supplementing. Not the baby, but mama. Give both. her more food. We'll have food. to do both, probably. Give her some protein. Yeah, which I just fed them protein. They didn't get any protein yesterday because it rained all day. Fresh leaves or something. We don't have leaves. Yeah, we do. Look. Yeah. Have some fresh leaves. Some trees growing in. Mm -hmm. But look at that, y'all. She's been feeding this whole time we've been over here. And the more this baby eats off the mama, hopefully the more this milk, her bag just fills in and gets bigger and produces more milk. She's a first time mama, so hopefully this is just the first time you know, a first year problem, it won't always be a problem. So what I'm doing now is this wood is just, it's just falling apart. I'm gonna have to take it apart or just get rid of it eventually. This is their jungle gym basically, but it's got exposed nails that I don't want them getting on. So I've been taking them out. Uh, I've got this many out and uh, I just gotta keep an eye on it. Like there's two more, three more right there. I just don't want them to poke themselves or anything like that. But my ultimate plan is actually to remove this. I want to start looking for those plastic slides and like plastic playhouses and stuff that you see. That works really well out here for the goats, for baby goats. I do it slow so I don't make them fly everywhere, but they still fly everywhere. Okay, y'all, so, well, I said she just stopped feeding her, but now she's right back at it. It's been 10 minutes since we left her a while ago in the video, and she's been feeding her nonstop. So that's awesome. 
Sorry, I'm a little out of breath because we found another project. We just got through removing nails from that. And then we used to have a bench sitting down here by the water. Made of scraps. Yeah, made of scrap and stuff, but it fell apart. It had screws in it as well, so we wanted to make sure we removed that from this area. I think we got all of it though, didn't we? But yeah, look at that, y'all. She's doing awesome. I knew she wanted to be a mom. I knew she wanted to be a good mama because she didn't want to leave the baby. She just was confused on what to do. She didn't understand the milking process, the feeding process. Now she, she fully Sit. understands it. So Sit. we'll keep an eye on it though. Make sure that that baby's still getting plenty of food. So sometimes y'all might hear two different conversations going on <laughs> since two people have a mic. That is Snickers, y'all. Isn't she cute? She is adorable. Oh. She's a little wild. Yeah, they're all wild. I'm right trying now. to tame her, though. Yeah, we're trying to tame this one. I we want this one to be friendly. Ah! Oh, ah! oh like she's going to be mad. Don't be mad. Your mama will come and get you. <laughs> <laughs> she was yelling at mom, but mom's still <laughs> over there eating. Yeah, she's like, I didn't hear anything. All right, guys, we're going to close this video out. Oh, okay, girl. Baby. Can you say bye? <laughs> okay, thank you. Perfect timing. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yep. <laughs> remember, do the good. <laughs> bye. Bye. Go find your mama. <laughs> yep. Help keep her. going. Nope, that way. <laughs> I'm not your mama. <laughs> Go that way. <laughs> Wrong way. She'll find her. She's way over there eating. I thought he was eating dirt, but actually y'all, he's eating the grass that's grown in through there. Fresh roots. Fresh root. I can't get. It's like salad. There you go. Is that yummy? Well, they finally found her. Took them a while, <clears throat> but they got to her. They're happy little goats now. At the Feller family farm Come along and ride with us Through this life's journey